the meta! Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my brand new series, Fight the Meta. Most games follow the same routine. Yeah, some champions might be better than others, but you're almost always going to find a very similar setup. Until now. But I gotta warn you, do not try this in solo queue. These compositions require teamwork, communication and trust. None of which exists in solo queue. Anyway, today's composition is what I like to call eggs in one yee shaped basket. I'm sure you've all heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Well fuck that, you don't know me, you're not my real mom. The team is Master Yi and full supports. And I mean real supports, not supports like locks or utility champions like Orianna. I mean four actual supports whose primary role is protecting and buffing. You need to prioritize supports that have powerful shields and speed boosts. After all, Master Yi is going to be doing most of the work, so your supports don't need to bring much other than buffs and shields. The most important support to get is Morgana because of her black shield. This team actually has counterplay with our black shield, and we don't want that. So make sure you first pick her every time. After that, we have several options, but here are my favorite supports for this role, and here's everyone else. And then of course Master Yi. But why Master Yi? Why not insert champion here? Simply put, his ultimate fits this the best. The resets, DPS, and movement speed from Highlander combined with all of the buffs from your supports will make it almost impossible to escape or take him down. Other champions can definitely be the basket, but none of them will be as quick and effective as Master Yi. But it can't be all good, right? It's gotta have some drawbacks, and it does. Number 1. Your early game is your weakest point. You are sending 4 supports into lane. You need to make sure that your laners play safe and focus on trying to farm up as much as they can. If your laners feed early, their buffs might not be enough to make the Master Yi relevant. So it is very important that everyone focuses on safety and farming early on. Only going for kills if it's almost guaranteed. Number 2. Sieging? Fucking impossible. You do not have any ranged DPS. You are not a siege composition. If the enemy team sits under the tower, you either dive or leave. There is no middle ground. Do not waste time. Number 3. If your Master Yi isn't aggressive, this is doomed to fail. You need to make sure that whoever is playing Master Yi knows that when it's time to go, there is absolutely no turning back. Everything rides on his shoulders. And number 4. If Master Yi dies, your team is likely to follow. Four supports aren't going to do much if Master Yi gets deleted before he's able to take down any of the carries. But don't let that scare you, because the pros outweigh the cons here. Number 1. Shields. The purpose of having so many shields is because you will make Master Yi the assassin, DPS, and tank all at the same time. This is why you first pick Morgana. Black shield combined with all the other shields will basically make you a Master Yi with an Olaf and Kale alt at the same time because nobody will be able to stop you or hurt you. <laughs> you have all the shields on I am like, I've got like over a thousand health in shields. <laughs> like I think your, your shields are almost equal to your actual current health. Yeah, like you just double my health. Number two, Dragon and Baron control. Because of your team fight power, controlling neutral objectives will be very easy. You'll either force fights that you want or get free objectives. Usually both. Number three, mobility won't matter. With all of the buffs and speed boosts, it doesn't matter how much mobility the enemy team has. You will find them, and you will kill them. Killing off. What? Uh, Damn! Uh, <laughs> I mean, did I not say you could just kill me? And is all like, getting away from Master Yi is so impossible! <laughs> Number 4. Early full build. With all the kills and farm the Master Yi is going to be getting, he can generally reach his full build by about 30 minutes. And when Master Yi reaches full build, the entire team reaches full build. Also related, I'm at full build. Full build of 30 minutes. Your build obviously doesn't take enough Also helps that I have 13 kills. Number 5. You can't itemize against it. Whether the enemy team builds magic resist to survive the supports, or armor to survive the Master Yi, they're all gonna die just as quickly because of Yi's insane DPS. And finally, number 6. It's so easy. Clicking Master Yi as a support and buffing him is about as hard as clicking the enemy team as Master Yi while you're unkillable. The enemy carries won't stand a chance because you'll delete them in the blink of an eye, and nobody can stop you because you're immune to CC and not taking any damage. Don't believe me? Find some friends and try it out for yourself. Have an idea for a future episode? Let me know in the comments, and if they're good, I might just use it. Be creative. Let's stay away from all yodels or themes like that. I want to hear your unique strategies that not only change the way you play, but change your world. Anyway, let me know what you think of this new series and how I can improve. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Really, this is the key to playing Master Yi. <laughs> I'm a Jedi. <laughs>